Yes, it's me, everybody. It's me, Bo Shamsu, along with Zest Tea. I promise I have only had one cup of coffee today. No, I'm not high in crack cocaine. I do love Jesus, but I'm not here to preach at you. I'm here to test taste. Test, taste, test, taste, take two. Beep, beep, taste, test, live for you guys, my materialistic minions, the zest tea, specifically the pomegranate flavor. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. By the way, the impressions that I get on the outside, I, I know this is a total weird thing, but I'm a textures kind of guy. I don't go by look and feel. Like, I, I wear two different color socks right now. I go by texture. So the texture of the can is kind of weird. When you first give uh, someone a zest tea, they're like, this is not a Red Bull can. Anyway, that's totally beside the point. Has nothing to do with what's on the inside of the can. As it says in the Bible, look to people and judge them based off of what's on the inside, not the outside. Thank goodness, because you guys would think that I'm a total crackpot. Let's go ahead and take a, a whiff. Ooh, ooh, pomegranate mint. Now, that's one of those flavor com combinations where you're like, eh, you know, blackberry, lavender, kind of one of those. I don't know if this is gonna work until <laughs> oh, now before this, the chai tea, the infused chai tea, zest tea was my favorite. But this is absolutely my favorite now. This is so refreshing. It's not pepperminty. It's not like you're, you're, you're sucking on a peppermint cake at Christmas time. This is so good. Wow, it's cool, it's refreshing. I can't really taste a lot of the pomegranate-ness. Uh, you know how pomegranate can be almost too perfumey for, in some particular drinks? This is not like this. I would say if you were to, to have a, a barometer, a pendulum swinging back and forth between mint and pomegranate, I would say this, the, the pendulum swings more towards the mint side. I would say it's 80% mint. So absolutely refreshing, delicious. How much caffeine is in this? 150 milligrams of caffeine. Ladies and gentlemen, that's like two to three cups of coffee, depending on how strong you make your coffee, packed into this little can. And it's all natural. Not trying to oversell you on anything. If you like your Red Bull or Monster drinks, more power to you. But guys, this doesn't have a weird uh, kind of aftertaste that sort of coats your teeth with this synthetic film. No, it tastes like normal tea, uh, normal natural tea, that is. Not, not like that yucky type tea that you would get at McDonald's. Just a moment. That was really loud. Yes, I do review all sorts of things, including this smart vacuum right here, which I gotta figure out how to turn off. I put my life on the line so that you guys don't have to, including the zest tea. Normally I do have a philosophy about not ingesting things uh, because I don't necessarily wanna put my life on the line to that degree, but I made a, an exception producing a video review regarding zest tea because I think it's a really refreshing green tea and I got the pomegranate mint tea to see if in fact that it's not one of those weird flavors and oh, that's, I, it's so refreshing. It almost makes you want to oh, inhale more oxygen into your lungs. It just just opens up your diaphragm. Ha! <sighs> oh, that's amazing. Okay, so enough of this. Go look at other people's reviews, and uh, I'm gonna add a link and a promo code in the description below if, in fact, you guys are caffeinated individuals like I am. And uh, I probably won't finish the whole thing, you know, just full disclosure, just because I get really jittery if I have more than two cups of coffee before 1 p.m., and, and this would kind of be pushing the limits. Uh, but that's it. Go check it out. My name is Bo Shevisu. I look forward to testing, reviewing, and putting my life on the line for yours truly, my materialistic minions.